Hey guys, good morning. It's Thursday and it's sunny out again today, so hurrah! Um, yeah, we got to go to the park a little bit yesterday, so hopefully um, today is like yesterday too. And um, we have, the boys don't know it yet, but we have a, uh, a, a nice kite coming in the mail today, hopefully, so I hope that will be fun. But uh, we have some current events for today. Uh, as always. Start us out with today. Um, noticing, uh, noticing this. Uh, Tesla's next killer app, solar panel on electric cars, starting with Cybertruck. So, um, solar panels on electric cars for a while has been uh, not really thought of as as, uh, as efficient enough to actually be beneficial to, to vehicles. Um, he said, you know, if uh, a Model 3 were to put solar panels on its roof on a nice sunny day, it might get an extra two miles of range, which hasn't really been enough to, worth, uh, to be worth it. However, uh, Cybertruck um, is going to be sold with a panel option and give it 10-ish uh, uh, miles of range. So for those who want it, um, that might be worth it, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. As technology gets better, it might be worth it more in the long run. This article was talking about how it's much more efficient to um, to you know put solar panels on your roof and then charge your car from that if you if you were uh, going to do it. But uh, we'll see as Tesla continues to take over our lives along with Amazon. We'll see how it goes. Uh, today we also have you guys probably saw this. All of uh, Pennsylvania is now under this uh, stay-at-home order by Governor Wolf. Um, all, how many counties? There are like 67 counties, I think, in Pennsylvania. Um, so, yeah, 67. So, anyway, uh, it's kind of sad. We can still go out. Uh, good thing I have some aged relatives I can go out and take care of, so... But, uh, yeah, we were at the grocery store yesterday, and, and uh, things were, were, were pretty much there. There was a little bit of, um, seemingly a little bit of everything. Uh, we were just happy that there was uh, baby food, because Aldi was sold out for a while. But uh, Chris was making some, but it, it was working out. But, uh, good luck, Pennsylvanians. I hope you don't. Uh, hope you don't nag your husbands too much. <laughs> anyway, this was a uh, uh, in Malaysia some signs. Obviously, I can't read that, but uh, it says it advised women working at home to wear makeup and office clothes so as not to offend their husbands. Anyway, that was, that was hilarious. So the uh, um, now these posters got you. Know, pretty well ridiculed and, and then uh, taken down, but uh, I thought it was kind of funny nonetheless. Where was it? <laughs> so, it was a fun article. So maintaining positive relationships. So that's true for everyone at this point, especially as we start to get on each other's nerves more. So, <clears throat> I love my kids, but I also like time away from them. Uh, Spanish cops bust supermarket bar. So the, apparently this bar was uh, uh, right next door to the supermarket, and uh, they were ordered to shut down like all all bars in Spain. However, uh, there was apparently a, a door leading to the, uh, between the two buildings, and so that they would, um, yeah, they would serve uh, random alcohol to, uh, to people grocery shopping, which, frankly, I think is a brilliant business decision. I mean, who wouldn't want to go there? But uh, maybe not so great for preventing the spread of corona. Oh well, we can't have everything in this life. 
But we can get goats in the streets, so that is pretty cute. Uh, of course, this is in Wales with, uh, in, of course, it's in a, a town name that no one can pronounce. Um, but uh, apparently because so few people are, uh, are in the streets and so few cars, the goats outside of town have taken to wandering through town. Which I feel like is something that would happen in Wales anyways, but, uh, you know. Uh, there's other, been other news stories about uh, other animals taking over the streets of, um, of different cities. The one I remember was, <laughs> was, uh, was rats running around more, more publicly in um, New Orleans, but that's kind of a bad example. But look at the cute little goats. Anyway. Maybe they're cute, maybe they're not. If they're in your front yard, who knows. But still quite charming nonetheless. Hope you enjoy that. Um, Venezuela is still in the news. U.S. calls for Maduro Guaido to step aside in Venezuela shift. So, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but um, last summer-ish, uh, this guy, Juan Guaido, he... Um, Cud declared himself the real legitimate president of, uh, of Venezuela and a lot of countries uh, in South America and around the world, including the United States, kind of recognized him as the legitimate president uh, because, you know, obviously Maduro is, uh, Nicolas Maduro is kind of, you know, uh, corrupt and uh, rigging the elections in his favor. So. Anyway, they actually, uh, the United States called, called for both of them to kind of uh, step aside so that they could create a uh, transitional government of some sort. But, uh, you know, I don't think um, that's going to happen, but it's still in, um, still in people's minds. So, I think uh, I just have a couple other uh, random YouTube videos that I guess I will share in links below that I thought were really fun. Uh, Roller Man, um, Extreme... Uh, rollerblading. This guy has like a rollerblade suit. I don't know. This is probably not going to work, but uh, um, I don't know if I can get a picture of it or something like that. But uh, he apparently invented this back in the 90s and uh, anyway, it was just kind of fun. A good idea. No matter which way you roll or tumble or fall, you're on wheels of some sort and uh, it looks dangerous, I guess. I guess you only have one accident with that. And then, of course, uh, how to catch a trout with a mousetrap ice fishing. You guys know my affinity for mousetrap videos, but this guy's catching fish with a mousetrap. So, anyway, he's kind of like a survivalist type, and, uh, and so he makes a good video. I enjoy it. Alright, guys. Um, I have for you a photo of Rose. She it was crawling underneath my standing desk. She's in the I need to crumple everything phase and also eat lots of paper and gag on it phase. So anyway, she's so tiny and so cute. So um, hope you guys have a good Thursday. Uh, a couple of random assignments. I'll be uh, ho hosting some uh, Zoom chicken sessions with you guys uh, at the top of the hour, or I guess at 9 and at 10, depending on which class you're in. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, please ask me if you have any questions, if you need to know about any makeup work. But I really look forward to our spring break next week. And, uh, and uh, I'll be in touch tomorrow, too, with some current events. All right, guys. Uh, have a good day.